FrameMaker 2019 New Features More Control Over PDFs Creating PDF is a big part of most FrameMaker workflows, and in FrameMaker 2019, we've created an entirely new PDF engine and moved it into the Publish Pod. To get you familiar with the changes, I'll walk you through this workflow and explain the new features. As I mentioned, PDF creation is now part of the Publish Pod, but it's worth noting here that the File Save as PDF option still exists. As we can see in this dialog box, the output location and settings files correspond to what are set in the Publish Pod, and the dialog also explains that you can go to the Publish dialog box to change options. I'll cancel out of this process so we can focus on the Publish Pod itself. As with the other Publish outputs, specific settings can be viewed and modified by clicking on the Change Settings button. More importantly, your modified settings are saved in a separate STS file, meaning you can easily apply settings to a different document, or even swap STS settings while working on a single file in order to create a different style of PDF altogether. Moving into the settings themselves. In the Settings dialog, under Outputs, ensure that you have PDF selected and that the General tab is also selected. The options will look familiar if you've previously used FrameMaker to produce PDF using the Save as PDF option. Note that we've eliminated the need to specify RGB or CMYK processing, as images are now passed as is into the PDF from both unstructured and structured documents. There's also an option for primary output purpose, letting you pass sheet size and marks options into the PDF when choosing the print option. Moving to the marks and bleeds settings, you'll find expanded options for sheet size and printer marks relative to earlier versions of FrameMaker. These settings are useful if you're sending documents for printing and trimming at a commercial printer. Another new PDF option in FrameMaker is the ability to set an open file password directly inside of FrameMaker. This shortens up the time it would otherwise take for you to set a password via the document properties in Acrobat Professional. DITA users can find more information about the DITA template and DITA options tabs in a separate new feature video. One last note about these options. Previously, PDF bookmark and tag options were part of the Save as PDF dialog. Because these options are style-based and thus document-specific, they're now set via the Format Document PDF Settings options and are not part of the preferences stored in the Publish pod or the STS settings. For more information on bookmarks and tags, see the separate Bookmarks and Tags new feature video. Having set things as I like, I'll now choose Save and Close. This updates the STS file that I currently have in my published dialog. When producing output from the published pod, it's a good idea to explicitly set your source document. You'll also want to note the settings file to confirm that it's correct, as well as your current output path. From there, you can either double click on the format that you want, or you can choose to generate multiple outputs using this dialog. I'll choose the Generate Selected Output button. When producing the PDF file itself, you're in for some pleasant surprises. First, processing is significantly faster than before, up to 60% faster when using the 64-bit version of FrameMaker. Also, you'll get better feedback on processing thanks to the new progress indicator. Finally, when processing is complete, you'll get this dialog with choices that include viewing of your output. This new workflow is quite a nice experience, but if your workflow specifically requires it, you still have the option available in any Windows application of printing to the Adobe PDF print driver and processing as you like. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us at techcom at adobe.com.